Hey there YouTube, this is Wheelchair21, and on today's rolling review, it's another Godzilla Treadmasters Vinyl 2-Pack. This time as stated, it is, well, Godzilla vs. Mecha King Ghidorah. Now, the Godzilla Vinyl I stated in the last review is always practically the same for the first run of the Treadmasters toys. It never really changed in sculpt nor design. It wouldn't change until the last wave when it would become the Godzilla Wars. Sadly enough, I barely found any of those two packs growing up as a kid, nor have I been able to have the time to track one down for a fair price with another figure from the line that I would so d desperately need. Now, the problem with this one off the bat with Mecha King Ghidorah is it still suffers the issues of the original Ghidorah, where the chest, how it's molded, and the necks kind of block out the other one, the back one, the main mechanical one. The chest, though, actually is representative of what the real creature looks like, as well as its weird new calves. However, because of the wings being so thin, they tend to break off. I kid you not. They've ripped off so many times, it's not even funny. I've tried gluing it, and it never worked. So, as a kid, my dad was just like, here, problem solved. Put a nail into it, and it's never ripped off again. Thank God. Now, the biggest problem is, is, as these wings are a thin plastic, they tend to warp, they tend to bend, they tend to look like crap, especially if you get anything of dust or aging on it. It still has the metallic gleam on it, which is a good thing, but it just doesn't look that pretty. Honestly, Mecha King Ghidorah isn't the best thing thus far from the line. Honestly, I still prefer the original Ghidorah over Mecha King Ghidorah. However, the heads are a little bit nicer sculpt, and they actually made it that when the gold ages, it kind of fades, and it looks nice. It just is, to me, more appealing. And they, because of how the body is boosted up, the sculpt is actually a little bit different in the lower abdomen. Even though the tails are completely different due to the fact of how they redesign it, these, you know, in the original version is silver, but, you know, they don't paint it on this toy um it looks nicer the tail actually looks longer like that actually extended out and having those tips added on which were supposed to be like some kind of protruding weapon or uh just some kind of taser really looks nice honestly i think that if the sculpt would have been cleaned up a bit more to be a bit bulkier like it's mecha king of kind of part this one would be really incredible now the trading card that is featured with the set is actually pretty cool. Instead of being a basic trading card, you now turn it horizontally to get the full display. I really always have loved this card as a kid. I just, I like the card more than I actually like the figure nor, and the character itself. It hasn't been until the last couple of years that I've started to like Mecha King Ghidorah and its actual movie a lot more and appreciated it. Um, however, you still have to turn it back the right way to get more information on the card, which talks about its actual arsenal, such as the Godzilla Grip, which is the clutcher system built into the chest, if you've seen the movie. And it kind of is a redundant speech of the infamous um, Ghidorah movie, talking about how it was destroyed, how it was killed, and how it's brought back and resurrected, once being the Dorats that were nuclear mutated. We'll look more into this card when we go into my entire uh, accumulated collection of the actual Treadmaster trading cards. Now, like I said, these packs usually range from anywhere from like 6 to $8, and you could have bought them at a lot of different places back in the 90s. Honestly, you can probably get the Super Gift Pack for like 40 to 50 bucks where you can just get every figure pretty much through the King of the Monsters wave or the Godzilla um, Godzilla Wars waves easily. I mean, you may be missing a few here and there, but not all were made in the basic 4-inch scale. Most of them actually were completed within the 6 to 8-inch scale, which, sadly enough, I never really got many of either. But, nonetheless, I like them, I enjoy them, and, well, tomorrow we're going to be checking out Godzilla vs. Mothra, which, ironically, I kind of wish I would have bought that batch when I saw it on clearance ages ago. And, man, do I mean ages ago. 
Anyways, you can find this rolling review on my channel here, or at Herotaku.com. You can also follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and you can check out Herotaku.com and the Plentiful Podcast in association with it on Raijo Nihon. This rolling review is special to me, because this is just my awesome Godzilla month. Now, not every day will be filled by Godzilla reviews, but, well, some of them will be. 